Hello ladies, um, hope you've had a great day. It's uh, past 6 p.m. here in Germany. I know some people are still um, not yet there in Ireland, um, still 5.30 and in the U.S. and Canada, it's still around midday, so you're still looking at lunch. Um, so here is already no eating after 6 p.m., so... Um, but that's not easy. That's not an easy um, thing to do, especially if you're not used to it. If you're just going to start it today for the first time, it's going to be a battle. Just be prepared for battle. But um, there are some coping strategies uh, which I'm going to share with you. Um, the first coping strategy is that you need to, first of all, understand why it is important not to eat after 6 p.m. Why it is beneficial for you not to eat after 6 p.m. So I'm going to give you a couple of reasons and then we look at the the little uh, strategies or copes. So number one, you sleep well. It is just better for your sleep. Um, can you think of a time when you ate maybe just 30 minutes before going to, going to sleep? And uh, think of how heavy and bloated you were, and maybe each time you 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 burst, you burped, you know the food was almost coming out to your mouth, and you could barely sleep. You get up in the night, and your stomach is aching, and you need to go to the toilet, and and it's a battle in there and everything. So, um, when you um, eat, have your last meal at 6 p.m. Um, you sleep better. You just sleep better and uh, you just have a good general feeling. Then the second reason uh, is that you give your system a break from digestion. Think about it. Every time you send in something into your body, into your system, it gets to work because it has to digest it. It has to decide what am I receiving and what am I going to do with it? You know, so every time you eat something, every time you you uh, you eat no matter what it is you are giving your body work so in the evening you could say oh but laura i could eat vegetables i could eat a fruit it's not that heavy and stuff but well you're giving your system work to do and what we want now is that your system should also go to rest so you give your system a break when you stop eating um after 6 p.m and then when your system is on break, after some hours, it goes into self-healing. It begins to heal, um, you know, all those dead cells, all those, um, you know, it heals from, from within. There are some sicknesses, there are some little issues we have within that we might never even know just because the body healed itself, yeah? So uh, when you stay uh, for long hours without eating, um, the body begins to heal itself, and it, this is going to introduce us to intermittent fasting, but we are not doing intermittent fasting this week. We're not going to talk about it. Uh, we're going to get to that in the third week or in the fourth week. You know, we're just going to see how things go. So, but it's important um, um, when you when you don't eat uh, uh, for a long time, your body begins to heal itself. And then, of course, it aids weight loss. And that is why we're here uh, in this program, because we want to reduce fat. We want to um, reduce our weight. So we're, we're doing things that will contribute towards that. But again, it's not just about weight loss. It's about general um, good feeling of your body. Okay, so those are some of the benefits of um, not eating after 6 p.m. And then now we can look at some of the coping strategies. I remember when I started um, this, uh, I think it was last year. Uh, when I decided to stop eating after 6 p.m., it was a battle. It was a real battle. And, um, you know, I, I, it's terrible. You just, have to, 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 you just have to develop a few mechanisms that will keep you going. So the first uh, strategy I'm going to share with you is that you should drink. Drink and drink and drink. Every time you feel those hunger pangs, every time you feel that you're hungry and you must uh, eat something, first of all, just drink. Most often... Um, that feeling is just a feeling. It's not real. So when you drink, it covers, uh, you know, it covers it, it calms you down and your body is, your system is calm for some time. And then the second coping strategy is that remember your why. Remember why, why you should not eat after 6 p.m. I've given you some of the reasons. And also remember your why, the reason why you're doing this program at all, why you're joining this challenge. Think about it and always know that it is much more than 
losing a few kilograms for some time. It is about changing your lifestyle. It is about becoming more conscious of your body, giving your body good food, respecting that body that God has given you and taking care of your health. And strategy number three, your inner strength. Remember that you are strong and always remind yourself that I can do it. I can do it. Remember the Bible tells us in Philippians 4 verse 3, or is it 3 verse 4? Uh, no, 4 verse 13, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So think about that. Every time the enemy tries to tell you that, no, you're too weak. If you don't eat now, you're going to collapse. You're going to die. You're not going to make it. You're not going to sleep at all. Remember also 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, which says that when God says, I have not given you a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of love, self-control, and determination okay so you have that self-control god has given you already so tap into it keep on reminding yourself and uh, also know that um, you're under attack the enemy is is there to discourage you from doing anything good remember he comes to steal to kill and to destroy so whatever you're doing which is good for your body which is good for you, for you, he will try to discourage you. So most of these things that you're thinking about right now, they are lies that are being fed to you uh, by the enemy, you know. So just know that they are lies and rebuke them, you know, come against them. When he says that you're too weak, you cannot make it, say, I am strong, I can do this, you know, and um, you, you, you're going to go gradually. Then tomorrow is another day. Oh, yes. When you think of all those wonderful things in the refrigerator that you could be eating now, um, even your children might be running around eating some things, just say tomorrow. Promise yourself that tomorrow. Promise yourself that you'll get up tomorrow, you're going to have a good breakfast. Think, visualize that wonderful breakfast you're going to have tomorrow. Have it in your mind. Just have it in your mind and smile just thinking about it. Tomorrow is another day. You're going to eat tomorrow. You're not going to die this night. Okay? Then um, it's a challenge. Okay? Um, it's a challenge. Always know that this is a challenge. And because it's a challenge, nothing good comes easy. Remember, nothing good comes easy. So it, it is, yes, it has to be difficult. It has to be challenging because um, nothing good comes easy. And there is this quote from one of my trainers, um, the, the tiny waist workout I shared with you today. And she always says something towards the end of the video. You know, she says, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So repeat this statement, repeat this statement over and over. Every time you feel tempted to go and grab something to eat, every time you feel tempted, repeat it. If it doesn't challenge me, it doesn't change me and I want to change. If it doesn't challenge me, it doesn't change me and I want to change. And then also remember that every time you eat, every time you put something in your mouth and chew, uh, whether it is something healthy or it is not healthy, whether it's ice cream or it is chocolate or it is uh, chicken or it is whatever it is, remember that the only pleasure that you get is that temporal pleasure the moment you are chewing and when you swallow. When it's swallowed, that is it. It's gone. It's gone and gone. And the only thing that is left is maybe stomach ache and maybe the battle you're going to have in the toilet after. So it's just a fleeting pleasure. And uh, think about that and ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth me destroying the healing potential of my body? Is it worth me destroying um, maybe uh, uh, the health advantages, the weight loss advantages that I would have gotten now by having this little temporal pleasure? You think about it and you answer that question for yourself. And um, yes, yeah, so I hope um, you will be helped by this. I know it's going to be difficult. Like I said, it's a battle. It's going to be a battle and it will be a battle for a couple of days, maybe even weeks, but you'll get, you'll get used to it. It's a journey. And, um, yeah, if you fall, well, get up and keep going. Don't lie down and cry. Okay. But remember you can do it. Yes, you can do it. Don't give up too easily. Don't give up too easily. Be strong. You are strong and you can make it. God bless you. Have a great evening. And have a good night. Ah, I forgot another one. You go to bed early. Go to bed early so that you stop thinking too much about food. And also occupy yourself. Do something to occupy you. Read a book, write, write. Just do something to occupy you. Don't be bored. Don't sit around being bored and thinking about food. Okay? So I hope we're going to get through this, dear sisters. We are, we are good. We are good. We are really doing great. So God bless you. And have a good night. Bye-bye.